welcome back to a new video. We are about to go to the vet because Sky's not been doing too well. Doing too well. She's just not eating. She has an appetite, but she, I think there's something in her teeth or something's up with her teeth. So I'm gonna bring her to the vet. Yeah. I'm gonna put her in a box that she bloody hates. I'm sorry. God. She knows what it means. She knows what it means. Oh no. It's for your own good. Every time we bring Sky into the car, she will get car sickness. It starts off with like drooling, like literal drool. And um, then it's like the vomit, but because she hasn't really been eating, there's not much gonna, that's gonna come out. She is not happy, she's not having it. That's just for the indirect. Just a little update on Sky. We did a blood test, we did urine sample. The blood test came fine, but there was something with her like kidneys, so we had to do urine sample, and then we're gonna have to um, like get uh, the results from that and see what comes from that. But essentially, she just needs her teeth worked on. I literally went for a, um, I went for my filling cracked yesterday, so I had to get that done again, and I hate going to the dentist. And if anything, I've had more trouble with my actual back teeth than anything plank touch would um, with like any of my other teeth. So yeah, I've been having to get all that sorted. And then with Sky, um, she's gonna probably get her dental soon. So yeah, and then hopefully she'll be fine. She hasn't been able to eat properly. She's getting old. She doesn't like it when I touch her teeth. Knowing that she's like maybe in pain or she's uncomfortable, it's like, it's like bugging me. And I feel like I can't help be in peace at the moment so yeah oh sky are you gonna be better are you gonna be better huh you guys love seeing her on the vlog so here she is she's getting old old lady sky is like gonna be 12. i don't know if it's old okay i think it is can i lay on her will she let me will you let me lay on you Sky is so hit and miss with like affection, but we've ordered Wingstop now. Even though I'm like my teeth, I'm still like a bit sore. Is it sore? I don't think it's sore. I just got big teeth. I'm gonna eat Wingstop, and I have been literally hooked on Tell Me Lies. I've finished the first season, and now I need to know what happens. And like, oh, if you're watching Tell Me Lies on Disney, Stephen is such a dick. Like, what on earth? Like the gaslighting, the lying. And no, 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 no. And like the ending. I'm like, oh, I would just want her to find someone else now and like put shove it in his face. I wonder how like this season will play out as well. And I can't believe like they're actually together in real life. And I feel like that's why I want to watch it because like they're doing all these things, but they're actually in together in real life. Like, how does what a couple do that? I don't even know. So yeah, I'm just gonna like chill out, have my wing stop, just chill out and watch my show and then later i'll probably film some more halloween looks they take they're so hard to do they take the longest to do it but like the result is always like really s fulfilling so i'm gonna not overwork myself because last week i think i looked i put i did put too much pressure on myself um so i need to get rid of that nando's bag oh my god the nando's sunset burger chef's kiss pew pew She loves a little chin scratch. She loves a little chin scratch. She likes to use my nails to scratch her moustache. <laughs> I get these uh, boneless chicken bits from Wingstop. They're so good and I always get original flavour. So yummy. Mm, mm, mm. Oh. Need to finish watching the platform as well. Because I fell asleep yesterday. I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to put what I have in mind. Like the inspo. But I basically want to do like these burgundy tip nails. It's really hard for me to do French tip nails. But I'm going to give it a go today. But I kind of really like the shape of my nails at the moment. So here goes. Let's see. This is the before. And this is the after. I think I did a really good job. This hand was fine to do, but this one was hard, but I don't think I did too bad. I mean, I did go over my cuticle, but I literally don't care at this point. I did that. It's kind of like a deep, deep burgundy. When do you have a date in mind? I guess the most, most um, 
earliest as possible when you have available. Great, thanks. Have a good day. Bye. Really happy that Sky's urine results came fine. I mean, I had no doubt that they would be fine because she goes she goes to the zoo like normal and stuff. So now, yeah, so her dental all booked in. Now I have to mix her food with water, and so she'll eat that. Now I need to do my feet. I'm about to head out. I'm actually gonna be filming with Space and K today. We have to go to the King's Cross store, which is ways way. Oh look, look at look at that, my baby. One day the gold. One day the gold. I will manifest it. Um, yeah, King's Cross is a ways away, but it's okay. I need to do a lot of planning on whilst I'm on the train anyways. Hopefully it doesn't rain today, because yesterday I was out and about, the rain was going sideways, and my trousers, they got wet. I was walking around with soggy trousers. Alright guys, I'm now in Space and K. This store in King's Cross, oh my god, it's so good. So good. I'm just trying to like plan like the content. Yeah, I'm gonna open you one, of course. <laughs> My uh, very uh, lovely assistant, assistant has helped me <laughs> and gave me confidence outside the store. Let's go. <laughs> Background, also oh, maybe like here and then you say. Of course. I don't know. So that's what you picture for this one to say. That's 0.5. Closer? 0.5 again or just. Oh, just um, one. One. Are you little hole? Yeah. I'm trying to do one. Okay. That was okay, because at the end you'd be like. Oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be good. Hi, guys. It's now the next day, and it's actually Sky's surgery day. And I'm gonna cut her nails. I know you guys love watching me cut her nails because she just stays so still. So yesterday, I feel like it was it was so fun and like the video came out so well, but I was like stressed now because I was having some technical difficulties with my mic. The video itself was so good. It was so fun. It was so nice to meet uh, Yuan from the Space and K team. It really helped me and gave me so much like confidence because when I was outside, it was like rush hour. <laughs> so all these people that go to the office were like, what the hell is she doing? But yeah, it was a really nice experience. Come on, Sky. She loves it. Like, I have to show her the nail cut and then she'll come to me. I'm like, literally purring. She loves it. Gosh, they're quite long and hard. I'm just doing this in case she wants to scratch someone. When they did her blood test, apparently she just she caused a, a fuss. And by the way, a lot of people say you're not supposed to cut cat nails. You're not supposed to cut cat nails. I think some people are mixing, you know, nail cutting like cutting your cat's nails with declawing your cat's nails because declawing involves removing the whole nail and bone from the paw so that they actually don't have any nails. Here, I'm just trimming them, just like how we cut our own nails. Does she look like she's in pain? Do I look like someone that will cause pain to my animals? I just don't understand. And also when you get, especially in dogs, if they get too long, they can really like bug, bug them. And then th there's a vein or, or nerve inside the nail. So if you leave them too long, the, the nerve ends up getting too, like growing with the nail. So then you can't actually cut the nail because the nerve's there. I think with a cat, you don't really always have to cut their nails because they scratch stuff. But she doesn't really scratch things, so I do it for her. Look at that. I'm so chill. She's gonna hate me. She's gonna hate me today. Oh my god, you would not guess what happened to me. Last night we went to go pick up Nando's. It was kind of packed and there was a bunch of people waiting at the entrance and there was like like a group of six guys. They're quite like teenagers. Waiting at the front. So I was trying to like get in to pick up my order. And then I was right behind him, like, at the door, but they were all blocking the, the door entrance. And then, like, he was talking, and then he, like, did this gesture with his hand, like, he was annoyed about something, something like that. And his hand whacked my face. Like, literally, my, I was so, like, taken aback, like, I, I could not react to him apologising, because he did apologise. <clears throat> I didn't even say anything, so I was like, what? I just literally got whacked in the face, like, on my nose as well. And the worst thing is, like, the guy apologised, he did it by accident, like, the situation just sucks. 
I have to deal with this pain and just being hit in the face in front of all these people because Nando's is packed. But luckily one of the staff, the girls there, she was so nice. Like she was like, can I help you? Like she came to me straight away because you could tell I was like a bit like baffled. Like I was bamboozled, that's the perfect word. And the worst thing that always makes me just such a big deal, like they all went like this and like turned around because like they knew like what they did is like sucked. But it can happen to anyone. So yeah, anyways. Sky, do you feel better? So today it's the next day. I had a lot of tea taken up, and she's been eating better already. So I'm so glad. I'm so happy. I really like winter mornings like this, where it's cold, it's dark, but you just put it's Judy's life on the TV. Have your breakfast, which is what I did, and I woke up earlier because I've got a lot of work to do. So. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm so tired. But Sky is doing better. She just needs to recover now. And yeah, everyone said she was so sweet and gentle. She needs to rest. Well, she's got painkillers as well to help her. Apparently, a lot of her teeth had like dissolved or something, and then which probably caused her a lot of pain. And I felt so bad. Like literally, guys, I was like bawling my eyes out yesterday. Um, but I'm glad it's done. Like it's all over. But yeah, I'm gonna go work now. Probably try and vlog later. Oh, she's so cold. Um, we need to go bring Sky for her checkup, but we're gonna go have some breakfast. I'm actually shocked that that's like holding right now. I don't know. I feel like I'm feeling like some sort of French toast or like pancakes and bacon. I don't know. I'm just all I know is I'm hungry. Yesterday was a shit day and yeah, I'm gonna be productive this weekend. And then later on I'm probably gonna film. I also wanna do like another video, like a super drug if I have time, but we'll see. Oh my god, the amount of times I go outside with mascara on my eyelids. Oh. That's what I love to see, an empty parking lot. So basically, Nothing's open, and the thing said it was open on my on my, but it wasn't open. So we're just having this usual croissant. I thought this like rolled up croissant thing. I think it's chocolate inside. Mm. We'd have probably waited for like nine, but we have an appointment at nine thirty. Actually, this is a bit warm, it's really nice. <laughs> okay, I'm now home and I'm gonna make a cup of tea. ad and it felt so weird because it was basically an ad from te a tesla ad showing these like robots and like elon musk is like doing like some sort of you know like how apple do these really seminars for like their products like elon musk is doing one for robots and i'm like has anyone seen that film with will smith like i don't want to i don't think i want to be in a world where there are robots walking around like honestly like i just I don't know if I like the idea. I'm like all for like newness, technology and stuff. But it's just weird. Like he was saying, this thing can be your friend, your teacher. And I'm like, what? This thing is made of metal. And how can you guarantee that it's safe? And how can you guarantee that they think they'll get intelligent enough to or come for us? This felt so weird watching that. Probably can walk your dog as well. Take your kids to school. Yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right, thanks. I think I'm going to watch, because I finished Tell Me Lies on Disney and that now it comes every wednesday so i have to wait for it but to be honest the last two episodes were actually quite intense so now i'm hooked on it but um i think now i'm gonna probably start i was gonna start heartstopper but then i saw sweet pea on sky and it looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie so let me know if any of you have started watching it it literally just came out like two days ago 
I think I'm gonna end the vlog here guys hope you guys enjoyed it's been a stressful week I'm not gonna lie like yesterday I had a good cry I had a good cry you know sometimes it just gets a lot you know you get that pit in your stomach yeah it was that for me this week and I feel better to be honest I always feel better on the weekend and I'm glad that Sky is doing better now she's eating I had to get some like special food from the vet uh, for her checkup today but like they i wanted to film it and show you guys but then i was too shy to ask and i don't want to like be filming nurse as well but basically like she opened sky's mouth and you can literally see like all the work they did and then she was taking like um um what is it a cotton bud why did it take me so long to bloody think of that word yeah a, with some solution and then like cleaning like the sutures and stuff and i'm so shocked that she let her do it and she like sky had her mouth wide open um and yeah she said it was healing all okay and then we need to go back in a week for them to clean it and check it again you can tell like she just looks better and she's eating which is the main thing it's it's uh it's been a lot it's been a very stressful week but you know we'll start a new next week it'll be a better week next week all right um actually let me show you the super drug bits before i leave you guys sent me all the products that won the board so basically products that have been really popular at the store i'm not surprised that this um ganya one is in there uh we have some derma planning tools this is by i think this is just a super drug brand i have a dual sided blended powder oh there's juice dual sided sponges by real techniques the l'oreal this l'oreal shampoo is good my hubby uses it and actually use his to be honest but i have to be careful with my scalp i always have to like i feel like once every week or once every two weeks i have to use like a detoxifying shampoo i really like the way detox shampoo and the life proof de detoxifying shampoo those two have been working really well because otherwise it just gets really weird on my scalp i'm not gonna lie dandruff there's oils like i just feel like it really cleans my scalp melting cleansing balm i know these are actually a really good product from super drug the shea body shea butter body scrub i actually need to try these because you know i've been moaning about my hair falling i think i've been really on it with my hair so these are the hair burst chewable hair vitamin gummies let's just try it try it right now these are really chewy how many was i supposed to eat i don't even know and there's around scalp soothing dry and eczema prone shampoo i'm gonna give this a go because like i said i get really bad dandruff sometimes night ease stress tension support I'm gonna put that i need it put it on my pillow garnier nourishing banana hair food I have tried this before, it's very good. Oh my god, like dermal planning tools are the, the thing by Studio London. Got to be brow gel, it is really good. Vanilla milkshake body mist. It's actually really nice. CeraVe hydrating cream to foam cleanser. We've got some Colgate Max White Ultimate. Bondi Sand self tanning liquid foam. Nivea. SPF Studio London setting mist a bunch of like uh, perfume samples I actually really like to put these in my bag in my bag I did not know Superdrug stopped Morphe like what the hell lip oil elf lip oil obviously maybe these sky high I'm not surprised by that one MUA makeup academy lip color changing lip and cheek oil elf pout cow that is it for this week's vlog i really hope you guys enjoyed thank you for sticking around and hanging out with me following sky's little journey she's doing better and yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye